morning, happy Wednesday. It's Wednesday. This week is just so weird for me because Monday and Tuesday I was in training all day from 10 to 6, 10 to 5 respectively and it just kind of threw me off. So today feels like a Monday because I actually haven't done any work this week yet. Just like a little bit of checking my emails here and there, um, but it's actually Wednesday and it's almost the weekend again. Um, my hair is still wet because just I uh, took a shower. So I'm trying not to shower every day, but yesterday my hair was so gross and um, yeah, I thought I would just wash my hair with a clarifying shampoo today and then not wash my hair tomorrow and I'll start my every other day cycle again. Anyway, um, oh, this top that I'm wearing, I'll show you guys, but this is actually from Uniqlo. I love it. It is a, um, one of the heat tech um, sweaters that they have. It feels like kind of like a fleece material. It is so soft. They come in a whole bunch of different colors. I got this during Black Friday. They were on for like $12.90. I think they're regularly $20, so you save a bit of money, but the regular price isn't um, out there either. But they're so soft, and uh, yeah, so I got the kind of cream color one. So this is what it looks like. Um, I'm actually going to work a bit early today. It's like 6.30 right now, so I have to um, put on my face very quickly. I've just been doing a really simple face because I've been so lazy. Um, but yeah, I really like this sweater. I wish I had gotten more. I didn't think I would like it as much as I did. I didn't even think I would really wear it to work. I thought it would be um, like a weekend wear, but I felt like wearing it today and it actually looks quite nice. On another note, it is advent calendar time. So day six of our advent calendar. I'm gonna open it up right now. So far I've used all of the other products that I've received or I've opened up. Um, I'm almost done the hand cream, which I think I mentioned. I'm almost done the body wash from day one. Um, I tried the body lotion. And I'm still using it again, not my favorite, but I still like it. And what else? Oh, the soap. So I'm using the soap. And if you do like an exfoliating soap, you'll like that one. But if you have very sensitive skin, you won't because it is scratchy but for me it's like a nice kind of scratchy it's very exfoliating it feels actually quite nice but if you don't like that you won't like it at all because it does feel um a little scratchy on the skin i always tie it back up just to make it seem like a present every single time that i open it Okay, so I left number five in there because um, I'm gonna wait until I've used up the hand cream from day two before I open this one up. Um, but six is over here. I really need to paint my nails. I haven't done that in a while. Oh. oh, this is conditioner. It's weird that they would have conditioner before shampoo. But this is, actually, I got one of these. I probably still have it because I took um, a bunch of stuff from, uh, not a bunch of stuff, but I took the extras from the hotel in Paris. But this is a conditioner. So they have a shampoo conditioner, um, and I think maybe even a deep conditioner. So it has five essential oils. It actually smells quite nice. If this is the same one, it has a very um, natural scent to it. Uh, so I'm excited to use that. I'll probably start using that just to change up my shampoo and conditioner routine. Okay, welcome back to my beauty room. You guys haven't been in here for a while because it's so dark in the mornings that it's very dark in this room and nothing's true to color. But I thought I would just show you guys quickly kind of my face of the week. Um, so I always start off with sunscreen even though it is very overcast. Um, it's just part of my routine. No matter whether it's winter or summer, I always put sunscreen on it. I'm being very haphazard with this. Don't be so haphazard with your sunscreen. <laughs> be gentle to your skin. I'm just like kind of in a rush. While I let that sink in, I'm going to show you guys, um, i just talk about what I use. So I had the, um, there's like that, uh, Sephora reward thing where you get, um, depending on your status and the reward levels, um, you get either $25, $20 or $15 off a $50 purchase. So um, since I am embarrassingly a VIB Rouge, I think next year I probably won't be a VIB Rouge. I think I'll probably just stay in like the VIB range because I definitely don't want to buy any more makeup. I always say that, but then new cool things come out and I end up spending a lot of money. But um, my goal is not to be a VIB Rouge next year. Anyway, so I had my $25. So 
I am almost out of the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer, um, which I have been using uh, for the last couple of weeks, just to use it up. I probably won't repurchase this one for a while. One, because what I bought to replace this is actually the Soft Matte Creamy Concealer, or I don't even think it's called a Creamy Concealer, but the new NARS Concealer in a Pot. Um, but also, I really am really happy with the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Concealer and also the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer. And I probably would repurchase either of those. Well, I still have one, the Bare Minerals one. But I would repurchase um, either of those before I would repurchase this. I really just wanted to try out the um, Soft Matte Concealer because everyone's been talking um, about how much they love it. And also, in my last Sephora haul, one of you said that um, I should pick that up. So. I did and I'm excited I think it might arrive today actually anyway so I've been using this as a concealer no base can't be bothered um, I do use some primer which is the hylamide I'm gonna put a little bit on since um, I've given the sunscreen a couple of minutes to kind of sink in I really just put it um, under my eyes kind of like around my nose and on my forehead even though I don't wear a base product I like to put powder in those areas so um, just helps it kind of adhere. And then for brows, it's been the Uge, the L'Oreal Brow Stylus and the um, Essence Make Me Brow. Uh, for powder, okay, this is why I can't have nice things because look at the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Powder. Um, I didn't even drop this, it just kind of broke on its own, but I'm trying to use it up because I cannot live with this packaging, but I love the product so much. Um, but yeah, so I hit pan on it, if you can see. I just, uh, trying to use it up as quickly as I can. Um, no eyeshadow, no nothing like that. For blush, I have been using this Glossier Cloud Paint, which is new. I just picked it up during the Black Friday sale, and I do like it. The texture is a lot more fluid and watery and, and thin. I thought it was going to be more of a, like a cream, like a, a thicker cream, but it's actually quite... Uh, liquid which I do like because um, it's really easy to blend just with your fingers that's what I found the best way to apply this with is is just the fingers no brushes um, and then for highlighter I've either been using the Glossier Halo Scope or I'm desperately trying to use up the last pan of this ambient lighting palette it's just one pan left and I can't seem to um, put a dent in it because I don't know it's a highlighter so I'm just trying to use it up Anyway, that was my face. So I'm gonna do that quickly, and then I'll show you guys the finished look. Okay, so this is it. This is my face, in a little bit of better lighting so you guys can see. Um, the thing about that cloud paint is, um, it's so subtle, especially with my skin tone. It almost like blends perfectly into my skin tone. So um, I really like it. I wish I had gotten another one and maybe a darker color, maybe that berry color, even, even that peach, um, so that I can mix mix it in with it for when I am, you know, a shade or two darker than what I currently am. Because it's kind of my winter shade. Um, and then, you know, in the summertime, I do tend to um, tan a little bit more. So. I mean, I noticed a difference. It's a very, very subtle, but I do notice a difference. Um, yeah, if you're any deeper than my skin tone, mm, if you like kind of a natural looking blush, then you'll love it. Um, but if you're looking for something to even kind of sculpt your face a little bit more, it's not that. I thought it would be a little bit more um, defining on the cheekbone, but it's, it's really not. So don't expect miracles. Okay, my Sephora order has arrived. Um, I actually returned something today at Sephora, um, and then, yeah, my online order arrived. Actually, I picked up a couple of things in store on the weekend also, which I will show you guys, just set you down there. So the two things that I picked up online, um, one is this um, Solid Beauty Blender Cleanser. I really just wanted to try it out again. Um, no particular reason other than that. Um, I feel like the way I, what I use to clean my beauty sponges right now, which is just a regular bar of soap, usually hotel bar of soap, works perfectly fine. But I really like the packaging of this. Anyway, um, I also got the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. Um, and I got Ginger, which is the shade I am in the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. So I'm excited about this. Um, I'll probably start using it as soon as I use up the... NARS Radiant Concealer, and I am pretty close to using that one up. So in store, I picked up a bunch of, well not a bunch, I picked up three little sample sets. 
um, or like mini sizes, travel sizes. So I ended up getting one of these, which is like their travel bag. You get this for free if you do buy at least three um, samples or not samples, mini sizes. So I got the Invisibobble, which is not really a mini, but it's considered an item that you can purchase to get a free one of these, so that's cool. So I got the black version. I'm pretty much done after this. I have a clear version. I have like the nude one, which I'm wearing right now, and then I have black, so that's all I really need. And then I also got these uh, Lanolips Multi-Purpose Super Bomb. The only reason I got this is because, uh, well, YouTube made me buy it. Um, this is the 101 ointment, um, and I've tried it a couple of times, and it's really nice. It's very thick, so it feels almost like um, Vaseline. It's actually thicker in consistency than Vaseline, um, at least in the tube. It's actually really hard to even squeeze out of the tube. I think it's just because it's a little cold. Um, so if it was a little warmer, it probably would be a little bit easier, but the viscosity feels very much like Vaseline. Um, it's supposed to be, I guess the benefits of this over uh, Vaseline is that, that this is 100% natural. So you can use it anywhere just like Vaseline, but it has the added benefits of being 100% natural. So it's a little bit better for you than Vaseline. Um, they had the one-on-one, on, one on one, 101 ointment, and then they also had the hand cream, and I'm tempted to pick up the hand cream. This was not cheap by the way. Um, it is like, let's see, 15 grams of product and it was $24. The hand cream was 19 and it comes in like a much bigger tube. I guess the difference is that this is more concentrated, like the formulation is, um, you know, much thicker and just, I guess, more concentrated. The hand cream is uh, bigger, but it is um, much more of a, a lotion. Uh, it doesn't really have really that much of a scent. I know these come in lots of different scents, but this is just regular old one. It doesn't really have scent. I am home. It is Thursday. I just got home from having dinner with um, one of my friends. We exchanged Christmas gifts, so I gave her um, that Lost to Ten um, gift set that I picked up. Um, and... Yeah, I'll show you guys what she got me. Um, I also had some red velvet cupcakes today, which I'm really excited about. Look how good these red velvet cupcakes look. They're so delicious. So this is what um, she gave me. It came beautifully wrapped, first of all, with this gorgeous bow. Um, and I'll show you guys what's inside. Obviously, you can see from this photo here what's inside, but it's a um, like a set from Origins. Um, so it has like all of their, I presume, best-selling products because these are quite popular. It's like the ginseng line um, and the high potency line and also some masks. Um, so I'm really excited about this. Okay, so I'm going to open day seven of my advent calendar. I didn't get a chance to do it this morning because I had to um, head to, uh, well, I had to get blood work done this morning. Um, but anyway, Oh, on a side note, I was burning this um, vanilla bean candle yesterday, and it smells so good. Um, okay, so number seven is right here. Ooh, some more lacetan. Um, of course, it's lacetan, but this is the ultra rich body lotion so um i shall leave this in here because i'm still using the verbena body lotion i'm gonna wait till i use that one up before i open this one but i wonder what this one smells like it smells um just like the uh face lotion so it has a very um it's not citrus um kind of almost smells like almond is that what this is oh it's a shea butter so kind of close. Okay, I am heading home. It's Friday, I'm leaving work a little early. It's three o'clock. I really wanna go to Menchie's really bad. I might go home, change into sweatpants, and then go to Menchie's, because the bow I think is working well till five. So I have some time to kill. Okay, I'm home. I got my Menchie's. I'm in my sweatpants. I just didn't change my top because I'm not sure if the bow and I are going for a Friday today. But anyway, I am going to watch some Netflix, wait for the bow to get home, and eat my munchies. Oh, I'm also going to open day seven of my advent calendar. It's 
day seven already. Can you even believe that? Oh no, it's not day seven, it's day eight. The month is really going by very quickly. Um, so yeah, day eight, which is this one over here. Let's see, what do we have? Ooh, some more moisturizer. Let's see. I'm still waiting for the shampoo to go with this conditioner that I got um, on day six. Um, but I actually just double checked and this is the exact same shampoo conditioner combo that I got um, in the hotel in Paris. So I actually still have, the one I got from the hotel is actually, is it smaller than this? It might be the exact same size, if not slightly smaller. I can't really recall. Anyway, this is what was in day number eight. So it is the comforting cream. So it is a moisturizer for the face, um, which I really like. I also really like, I believe they have um, a like a thicker version of this, which is also really nice. So I was watching Ocean's Eleven on Netflix and I finished it, although I did kind of sleep through half of it because I watched it um, kind of later in the evening. And now I really want to watch Ocean's 12 and also 13, so I think I might um, download that so I can watch it. I don't know why, but I find the um, the chemistry and the, the dynamic of that cast to be really good. So I kind of want to watch the trilogy now. An update on my munchies. I have zero regrets about getting this. It is delicious. So I did a combination of Oreo and Rolo and a bit of um, just like original or French vanilla. Um, and then I did as a topping uh, toasted coconut, some strawberries. I also did some roasted almonds and these little like cheesecake squares, which for whatever reason, every time I go to Menchie's, I have to get them. I'm like kind of obsessed with them, but it's very good.